Okay, um, first uh, for introduction, uh, which is we we have been given two standard of ROI audit document, which is one is from UICA and the other one is from NMUC. But uh, if you can see from NMUC, it is very much more detailed comparing to this UICA uh, audit document. Okay, um, then uh, I would like to to tell you guys about uh, Mr. Sam punya experience before which is uh, doing auditing right? like what he told us before uh, he said that uh, if if we sorry uh, uh, follow this INCA INCA audit document which is uh, dalam ni dia only cover macam surface dia betul tak? Uh, so and then you see ni is much more uh, in this uh, uh, audit document ni is much more detailed so for audit purpose uh, if possible we have to follow this document lah. ok so for my part uh, I would like to present about documentation uh, certificate and control container which is uh, for documentation kita ada uh, we have manual uh, operation manual and safety manual which is uh, I believe in this year uh, adalah uh, dua benda ni operation punya manual dengan safety punya manual uh, daily report daily report uh, which is kalau kat sini dia cover uh, uh, report untuk daily operation lah which is kalau siapa yang dah biasa kerja kat site tu maybe daily report tu uh, more comprehensive report tu maybe kita akan attach gambar kan gambar apa kita buat hari ni uh, throughout the day ataupun kalau operation throughout the shift lah uh, dua gas dua gas yang kalau kita tak tahu ok uh, so ada uh, di uh, add documentation also we have checklist pre pre that and post uh, that checklist ok lepas tu uh, we have plan uh, plan maintenance system plan maintenance system ni is what we do earlier uh, which is from uh, yeah, uh, Madam Rahan told us to, to do the uh, individual assignment The plan, uh, plan management system which is, which is uh, important for uh, Before operation which is we, uh, we, we know about What what uh, what uh, item have, uh, have been maintained Or uh, not uh, maintained Okay so uh, for certificate We, are, we have written certificate for ROT and rigging ROV and rigging Ok so uh, certificate for new installation If uh, example that if we add uh, If you are new equipment So we have to add certificate for that equipment uh, Ok uh, then for certificate for load test And termination uh, record Which is uh, termination record here uh, Is for umbilical termination record So we have to we have to have certificate for that uh, termination procedure ok next is uh, for control container control container which is uh, for ROV control container uh, for this uh, internal audit uh, document uh, we have to have the ROV uh, uh, control container type and description which is uh, the control container also has to be passive fire protection of type A60 or B15 which is uh, A60 is uh, you have to uh, stand the fire uh, uh, about 60 minutes and the B15 uh, it to, uh, the, the, the door we, uh, is uh, fire, fire, fireproof uh, okay, uh, so for classification certificate which is uh, here it stated that uh, it should be certified as per that uh, Nos Veritas which is a, a Norwegian company uh, that Nos Veritas in, in, in English it means uh, no, no, the Norwegian truth it is an it is a uh, from what I from what I uh, research and Google it is a <coughs> Uh, number one in risk assessment and certification. Uh, uh, then, uh, the control container also must uh, the lighting must be sufficient. 
the emergency light also should be tested and recorded monthly and the fire extinguisher should be in place uh, and should be suitable with emergency use and in aid. Okay, uh, next I will, uh, my colleague will proceed with the workshop. Okay. Okay, uh, for the workshop, uh, we have four, four types. Uh, first uh, is uh, type and description, uh, size and class. For the size and class, the workshop pertainment must be clearly identified. And then the manufacturer data and data plate and date of manufacturing uh, should be available on the container itself. Uh, and then uh, for container A60, it, uh, the container uh, that should have a passive fire protection uh, such as A60 and B50. Uh, the type of container shall be properly certified and by a verified certification body and proof of certification shall be available during audit. Uh, for the emergency light uh, in workshop, uh, emergency light should be test and record, record monthly and emergency light should be performed during audit. Uh, and gas smoke and purge system. If the gas smoke and purge system is battery powered, it has to be changed within uh, 12 months. Uh, and then for which. Uh, the uh, we have for also. Uh, the level winder. Uh, with ground and controllable first uh, system. Uh, for level winder, uh, the condition of the level winder roller to be test um, uh, test manually turning during audit and level winder uh, function to be demonstrated during wet test. And uh, control control level uh, Control level for last and recovery should be to the center position and uh, when released. Uh, for the first system, uh, availability of first system on which the uh, system including junction box and slip uh, For the which ground uh, to be uh, on the grounded wire on which during audit. For Amerika, uh, we have also for Amerika Armour, land of Amerika Conductor of and Fiber and Amerika Electrical Capacity. For Amerika Armour, uh, the Amerika Armour must be free from damage on the outer rack and well lubricated. For the land of Amerika, uh, Install vehicle length on system shall be sufficient for project requirements such as the water deck to be traveled by ROV during operation. Uh, collector and fiber, uh, fiber. video deck check uh, observation to confirm that umbilical is free from interference. Uh, the condition of the fiber and wire of the umbilical to be advised by ROV supervisor. Uh, for Amerika electrical capacity, uh, the color rating of ROV motor to be identified uh, and its suitability with the electrical capacity of Amerika to be confirmed. Okay, uh, go to okay, next point uh, to be last, launching and recovery system. Uh, the first one is uh, for A-frame. So for the Audi, they will check the specification, which is a manufacturer, serial, type, year build. This uh, based on uh, difference in uh, that is for the difference in car or the mistake, such as that. The second one is safe working load. For safe working load, they will audit, audit uh, for the project specific project. They need to they need to know tested to the limit. 
They set to the limit uh, weight of our ROV in air, in water, and also if uh, TMS if TMS available, also need to check uh, weight in air and also in water. So additional tooling weight in air and water, also proof test certificate need to have uh, for the audit load test certificate also during wet test. Okay, the third point for the last uh, airframe, we have a condition pipe hoses and fitting. So the horses part fitting uh, need to have uh, free from damage. This is based on just uh, visual inspection. And also they will check uh, for the preventive maintenance system lock. They will check the PMS uh, the lock. And also for the next point, uh, hydraulic cylinder. Same, they check the condition, surface corrosion, visual inspection. Function test also uh, on leakage. Because for the hydraulic cylinder. Next point we have shape wheel movement, function test. They will check the function test. Is the function uh, good? Should be free and quiet. Also, uh, need to be smooth lah. No, no sound on the shape wheel. Control lever. Okay, uh, the control lever need to be uh, when for launching and recovery should return to its uh, central position when release they will test should be uh, return to central position also the pain work pain work uh, rust free HPU reservoir on the HPU reservoir then we check the HPU oil indicator should be more than 70% uh, also should have a warning signage etc uh, emergency stop shift wheel restraining charge the chain should be available Safety chain should be available. External lighting also available. Lifting uh, inspection plate should be uh, should have also capability of uh, safe launch up. They will check the state document number and also to cite the maximum C state level for safe uh, launching and recovery. Then finally, they will check the full function test with all system for the last. The okay, next point we each for last hydraulic power unit same uh, the first one uh, manufacturer serial number year type of build length of horses also okay length of horses they will check uh, based on what work we do the horses length to, uh, should be satisfied sub sufficient uh, pipe work also same uh, observation from the cache oil in HPU reservoir indicator should be more than 70% classification uh, society certification certificate number oil cooler should, should have availability large HPU paintwork paintwork clean and rust free this is for HPU next uh, for the charge card HPU same manufacturer post length based on what work we do need post uh, to be sufficient pipe work uh, free from mechanical damage, no leakage, just observation all in charge card should be more, more than 70% basically it's all the same uh, repeat, repeat, based on should be 70% oil classification, uh, society certification, certificate number should have certificate number oil cooler availability Charge of paintwork, rust, uh, rust free. So lastly, for deck cable, deck cable should be sufficient. Uh, cable line based on uh, the work we do, sufficient cable line. Voltage, uh, voltage and current rating, the uh, deck umbilical and power cable. Cable armor available. Specification of armor cable. Condition of cable. Also free from external damage, no scratch, uh, no cut, observation. Cable gland, availability and location, based on, uh, based on location. Print terminal, availability and sufficient print terminal. Okay, that's all. Uh, that's next for the ROV. <coughs> so for ROV, ROV based on IMCA requirement. So need to have ROV description, description, uh, there's a model, you uh, build ROV class template. Let's go uh, and then lifting certificate. 
must have uh, availability and expiry date. I work, post and, and fitting, free from mechanical damage, uh, free from leakage, ground surface, ground surface, uh, availability and location, connection and display, function test, and PMS, must have ground surface and vehicle ground fault system, availability, location, connection, display, same, and then vehicle water alarms, Okay, need to have indicator and location of the alarms. Sona functionality. So sona functionality need to uh, perform cat test and wet test. Manipulator uh, manipulator functionality must be demonstrate uh, during audit. And then uh, as usual, camera, light, thruster and sensor. Okay. And then turn counter uh, need to have uh, turn counter and works well. Uh, you guess how that turn counters to yang mana? Turn counters yang okay. So turn counters kalau dekat interface tu, oh, dekat PC eh, right? So kita control ada yang 360 yang pusing, and di bawah ada kosong kosong. So if ROV Move more than 360 Akan naik 1 Kalau lagi 360, 2 So this is Untuk prevent uh, Cable apa? Ah, Cable tu daripada twisted and putus So untuk monitor And then uh, Buoyancy Additional tooling and framework For IMCA For uh, not IMCA required uh, And not spray Metrical harness, beacon pressure Ground strap Full function and thruster guard Okay, so for TMS, uh, same description, year made, and then lifting certificate, uh, might work, process, hospital, same, uh, light, clamp latches, tab account, indicator, framework, rustic camera, pen and tape, full function. So all this uh, at TMS will be audited. Okay, and then for tether, same functionality. Okay, tether jacket, tether lens, tether conductor and electrical capacity all will be checked during uh, audit. Okay, that's all.